What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Fury B GT90, the Fire Dancer. It is the 90 millimeter brushless micro FPV racer. Now this baby here uh, came and shipped with a DSMX Pro receiver, which I have been having some problems and issues with that receiver. I'm not sure why. So uh, I took it out and placed my AC800 FI Sky receiver instead. Now this baby comes with, uh, you can choose from a Fly Sky receiver, FI Sky receiver. I'm not sure what receiver they give you when you choose the FI Sky, probably a XM receiver. And it also comes PNP. And of course with that DSMX Pro receiver. So I took it out, switched it over to the AC800, so it is working for me. Now this baby here is a unibody carbon fiber frame design in a frog shaped design. Now the front to the rear uh, wheelbase is a little shorter than from side to side here. And the carbon fiber frame comes in at right around one millimeters in thickness or thinness. And it is giving way it flexes a little bit with a little bit of force and pretty much if I give it a little bit more force I'm thinking I can pretty much snap the arms off but at such a small size at 90 millimeters yeah I think it'll work yeah I don't think it's going to break when you fall or crash or anything like that and it also keeps the weight very low as well so yeah, we, we have some pros and cons on it. Now there's some uh, aluminum side uh, plates or you can call it frames. There's two of them that running from the front all the way to the back. And we have a carbon fiber X top plate stretched out kind of a X top plate uh, held down by four screws. So when you remove these four screws uh, and remove the plate, and when it was shipped, the uh, VTX was mounted on the top and the DSMX Pro receiver uh, was tucked in on the bottom of the, uh, the plate. So by releasing the um, VTX and it was held down by some double sided sticky tape and a uh, rubber band was uh, strapped around it. So I took that off and uh, removed it and took the DSMX receiver out and uh, unsoldered it and soldered on the AC800 and while I was doing that I switched the two uh, places placement so I got the VTX on the inside now and the AC800 receiver on the top mounted double sided and a zip tie to hold it in place not very tight just kind of loosely holding it in place just in case uh, so that is one of the things that I have done now we have this pink purplish color theme going on which is fantastic the side uh, uh, frames and the uh, the motors as well as the props are all in that pink or that purple theme so very very nice looking quadcopter here and the camera also has that pink or that purple uh, theme going on too so really really nice so let's take a look at the motors here the motors are the D1104 7500 kV motors and we are also given a five bladed 1935 props um, there is however a small thin urethane type um, soft mount plate right underneath of the motor so these motors are actually soft mounted to the arm so that is just awesome yeah that went all out with this one here and there's the ESCs on the bottom of the double stack and the ESCs are also soft mounted with some rubber standoffs so when I screwed on this screw it will keep continuing to screw so uh, you could even squeeze it even down further so I'm pretty sure it's just a hollow rubber standoff that you can uh, and the screw goes right up to the uh, standoff on the middle of the two uh, stack so but however it is uh, semi soft mounted so the flight controller is not isolated soft mounted it's just hanging together with the ESCs is mounted directly to the ESCs and the ESC is 
kind of soft mounted. So the whole stack is kind of soft mounted here. Now the ESCs are the BL Harley S 10 amp ESCs 4 in 1 and it has 15 amp bursts and it is a D-Shot protocol ESC so I have mine set on D-Shot 600 and it supports 2 to 3 S batteries so fantastic. Now the power cable that's coming off of it is a JST plug power cable and it was coming out straight out of the back uh, so I didn't quite like it I kind of prefer it being uh, strapped to the hind rear leg uh, so what I did was unscrew this little uh, side frame here and move the cable underneath and over to the other side and put everything back and put a zip tie on it to secure it in place and that is looking uh, fantastic here now the flight controller is right above the ESCs and it is the Omnibus F3 flight controller and it was pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.2.0 firmware so that is awesome and it is preloaded with Betaflight OSD as well so that means you are able to change parameters like the PIDs and the rates and such through your goggles out in the field with your remote control or your radio so that is just awesome awesome now the VTX is right above it well it used to be right on top of the top plate but I moved it on the inside and the VTX is a 5.8 gigahertz 48 channel 25 milliwatt VTX and we have a dipole antenna sticking out of the back and it is connected to the VTX and it is soldered onto the VTX and I'm pretty sure this is a 3 dBi dipole antenna and right next to the dipole antenna to the right in the back there is a single button that you can press to change the channels and the frequency as well. So uh, it did not matter whether I put it on the top or put it on the inside, that one single button is still exposed. Uh, so it, I was able to stick it underneath of the top plate and uh, it is working out just fine. Now, taking a look at the front here, take a look at the camera. Yep, it is a, a kind of a knockoff of the Run Cam Micro Swift. Uh, in purple color here. It is the 700 TV line. Uh, it has a 2.1 millimeter lens and it is a CCD sensor camera. So just like the uh, Runcam Micro Swift. And this baby here has a 140 degree field of view lens. So just a fantastic, fantastic camera that they give you. Now, like I said, I got the AC800 uh, FR Sky receiver mounted on the top, changed it out from the DSMX Pro receiver. Now, uh, I've been using this AC800 receiver uh, from quadcopter to quadcopter. I've been uh, mounting it on, taking it off, mounting it on, taking it off. And this is a fantastic receiver, guys. It's uh, uh, got telemetry and also it does not have a bind button as well. So when you plug this baby in, uh, if nothing binds to it pre-bound uh, within about six or seven seconds, what it will do, it, it will start flashing in red and it'll go into a binding mode. And at which time you can just go ahead and press that bind key on your transmitter and it will bind. So a very, very easy to use receiver. And I highly recommend this receiver uh, for small builds like this. It is very tiny and there is the uh, antenna wire sticking out of the back. I didn't even um, zip tie it or anything like that. It is short enough and it is uh, stable enough, I think, just to leave it just the way it is. So the only thing that I have done to this quadcopter is to move the uh, JST power cable and zip tied it. It already came with these uh, electric tape to hold down the uh, motor wires. So that is fantastic. And of course I switched out the receiver and put a zip tie on it. And that is just about it that I have done. And oh yeah, I put a little foam piece and hot glue this baby on tried to cut it out so that I don't hit any of the screws and that should help me uh, to hold the battery in place without uh, getting squeezed onto the uh, the screws on the bottom now this thing came with a couple of rubber bands uh, strapped as you can see there's rubber band hooks over here to hold down your battery but that is not going to work so what I'm going to be using is um, a velcro strap that I got from the SPC maker 
quadcopter so this will slide right underneath of the ESCs there there's tons of room right underneath of the ESC so that is fantastic now this quadcopter came in this box a generic brown box let me go ahead and open it up and show you what was in it uh, there's some foam that it was cradled under uh, it was right in there so fantastic there's two cutout holes for batteries and such but it did not come with any batteries and there's the DSMX Pro receiver that I uh, uninstalled from the quadcopter and we also get a um, kind of a instruction manual on this baby here the GT90 mini fire dancer uh, it goes on to show you some of the configurations here and it goes on to show you the channel frequency but it doesn't quite tell you how to change the channels so you kind of have to figure it out by yourself it's just a one button very simple and it goes on to show you how to uh, uh, bind to the fly sky receiver as well as the FR sky receiver and the DSMX receiver so at least they give you some kind of documentation so it is a very welcome little documentation so thank you very much and we do also get a bag of goodies uh, containing some extra rubber band and a full set of those purplish pinkish props so that is fantastic all right so that is just about it for the Fury B GT90 the fire dancer so let's go and check this baby out all right, we are ready to go. We got everything turned on. It is bound and it is ready to take off. So let's check this bad boy out. The Fury B GT90, the Fire Dancer. There's a slight bit of breeze that is starting to kick in now. All right. All right, looking pretty good, and it is feeling pretty good too. Oh, very hard to tell the orientation from far away. There's no LED lights or anything like that. And remember, this one does not have a buzzer either. So those two things are missing on this little quadcopter. All right, let's do a full out punch out here. I'm using a 500 milliamp 30C battery that I got from some other quadcopter. There's a slight bit of flutter on the way down. I'm using uh, Betaflight default settings as well on the 3.2.0. Okay, another punch out. And there you go, a full out punch out there. Not bad though. This is 2S. Punch out one more time. Yeah. <laughs> so small. And yet so much power for its size. Nice, nice, nice. Decent amount of power. I'm flicking it over to Acro. Let's check it out. 30. Let's see the flipping capability here there you go okay so it's beta flight default settings so it is set the rates are set at one so that is its uh, rotation there full-on rotation right there so you might want to increase those rates a little bit so you can do a little bit faster Nine, rotation eight, seven. okay let me reset my timer so there you go a little backflip Hey, pretty good. Very stable. All right. I think it's going to be a very nice FPV kind of clock up there because look at that. And I'm in acro. I'm just kind of hovering around. Very easy to control. Not bad at all. All right. So let's check out that uh, camera and the VTX and its a FPV performance. So let's go ahead and bring it in. All right, nice, very easy to control this thing. 
All right, here we go. We are just about ready to go with the GT90 Fire Dancer. And I see that my on-screen display fly minute is just flickering there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Yeah, it's going through all kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and check this baby out. All right, here we go. It's got some very nice quality video feed. The colors are really nice. Yeah, these uh, Runcam Micro Swift stock cameras give out very good video. All right, so far so good. We're running the uh, Betaflight stock PIDs and I have another one of those uh, 500 milliamp uh, 30C batteries and huh, what's going on? I'm getting kind of twitches here and there. Okay, so far so good. Okay, able to do some loops. Enough power there. All right. Yep, some prop wash right there. I think the uh, the front to rear wheelbase being shorter and from side to side being longer has kind of a negative effect when you're doing like loops and stuff like that. One. Okay, all Betaflight default stock settings and that is how it is performing here. It's good enough. It's got lots of power. Good controls. Oh wow, and the battery level is still at 7. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, And we've four, been flying for now 3 minutes almost, two, so that is not one. bad. But there is however the small little twitch once in a while that I'm noticing as if I'm getting lost connection or something. And I've got my AC800 on here. Okay, I think it's about time to bring this baby in. We're flying a little bit over one minute here. So, hey, all in all, not bad. Very easy to control here. And uh, it's a very smooth flyer. All right, we're down to 6.9, man. This thing is uh, very nice. It doesn't use up that much power. You are able to fly for quite a long time with this one. A very long flight time, over three minutes. I'm going into the four minutes. And I'm using one of those 500 milliamp, like I said, those 30C batteries. And remember, this thing does not have a buzzer. So it's not gonna give me any warning. And looking at the voltage on the top, I'm still at 6.8 and I'm still cruising over four minutes. I'm still doing bursts. Oh, a lot of prop wash on that one though. Okay, down to 6.7 and it is about time to land. Yep, 
We've been flying for four minutes and 30 seconds, guys. That is just awesome. Lots of flight time with this one. Nice. All right, so that is the first FPV flight with the Fury B GT90, the Fire Dancer. Check that out. I've been flying for four minutes and 46 seconds. Awesome. All right, just got done checking out the Fury B GT90, the Fire Dancer line of sight, as well as FPV. And uh, yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, tiny little brushless micro FPV racer. Uh, you can take it anywhere. Uh, I've flown it with some uh, 500 milliamp 30C battery. Uh -huh. Yeah, same battery, but one of them is SPC Maker branded and the other one is Full Speed branded. Yeah, same exact battery. It gave me tons of flight time, uh, over four minutes, almost going into the five minutes. And it is just awesome. You can just fly it on and on and it just keeps on going. So this baby is fantastic on power consumption here. So very, very nice. Uh, the camera, the video feed was just awesome. The VTX is doing a fantastic job at just 25 milliwatts. No breakups whatsoever. I didn't go the distance, but it's just awesome. I'm pretty sure you can fly this thing in 3S uh, because of the 10 amp ESCs and the 1104 7500 KV motors. So that should work out without a problem so all in all it's just a fantastic little micro brushless fpv racer guys uh very fun very fast it's got enough power in 2s so i would imagine you're gonna get tons of power in 3s uh, take you into new heights yeah so there you go guys the fury b gt90 the fire dancer thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time